Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be very, very different and a little bit exciting for me at least because it is going to be a 50 fun facts about me. I decided to do this video just for some facts so you guys can get to know me just a little bit more for those who do watch my videos so you guys can get to know me just a little bit more and yeah and I can get to know you guys as well y'all can send me questions or whatever so I'm going to start this video so it doesn't be extra extra long the questions are here on my phone so yeah let's get started okay so my full name my full name is Brittany D. Williamson hyphen Jackson if anybody can figure out what the D stands for I might do a little prize or something so <laughs> Put that in the description bar, I mean not description bar, the comment section, what you think the D in my middle name stands for. And yes, I'm hyphenated because my mother's married name is Jackson and I love my stepdad and he's always been there for me. So I wanted to change my name to Jackson without upsetting my birth father, so I just hyphenated it. Everybody wins. Number two, what's your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is a Virgo. A Virgo. Yes, Virgo Nation. We rule. Three fears that I have would have to be losing my parents early, not being successful, and like being a bum. Like, not necessarily like a bum. How do I put this? Somebody who just got knocked down one time and didn't get back up. Let's just say that. I don't want to be that person. Three things I love. My phone, my makeup, and God. Yeah. And family. But I mean family. Everybody says family, so that's why I didn't say it. But everybody loves their family. Like, my best friend. My best friend's name <laughs> is Jasmine Morris. Um, me and her have been friends for a little over a year. Um, it's been like a year and four months. I believe and it's crazy because the person that I was best friends with me and her had been friends for forever I'm talking about 10 years plus and you know that relationship died because of her actions and for somebody to come along and I didn't even know that person that much that well but we just click so seamlessly and that's my ride or die. Like, I know she'll do anything for me and she know I'll do anything for her. Last song I listened to, last song I listened to was, um, Float by Anthony Hamilton. Yes. That song gives me so much life. I mean, it's an old song. It's off his first album. But, um... That is my song. Let me see if I can give you guys a little glimpse of it. Because that is my song. Like, nobody knows. That is my song. Like, I love that song. Like, yes. I love that song. That wasn't it. That was, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> that was a, um, advertisement. But this song, it gives me so much life. I love this song. Like, I do. That's the song. I love that song. Disclaimer, I have no rights to that song. That song was on YouTube. So, please don't take my video down. Okay? So, yes. Let's see. Let's see. That was the last song I listened to. Number seven. Four turn -offs. Endurance. Confidence. Um, resilience. And somebody that can make me laugh. If you can make me laugh, like when you first meet me, bonus. Love it. Because I'm a goofball. Number eight for tone arrows, liars, flexors, somebody who <sighs> the people who like to like 
brag and like let everybody know what they got. Like not on YouTube. YouTube is a completely different story. I'm talking about if you meet somebody off the street and then you just start having a conversation with them. Yeah, you know, I got the big house. I live in the city. Anybody can have a big house and live in the city. It's Atlanta. Come on. Get it together. I don't like those. And I don't like liars. I think I said that already, but I don't like liars. I hate liars. What color underwear am I wearing right now? Uh, that's a little too much information. And besides, I don't remember. I just throw on whatever I throw on. I don't remember. Um, how many tattoos and pictures do you have? I have two holes in each ear. And right now I have seven, two, seven tattoos. But I had my nose pierced and my tongue pierced previously. My nose ring fell out because I slapped it out on accident. And I took my tongue ring out. Because of where I was working, I thought I couldn't have them. But after my hole had closed, I saw everybody else in their home rings. I was like, come on, really? So, let's see. The reason why I joined YouTube, I joined YouTube so I could express myself. YouTube is like an outlet. Like, I love filming about myself. Like, I tried to film this video yesterday. And my parents were home. And I didn't want them to walk past the door and hear me. Because it would have been awkward. Like, I'm in here talking to myself. Which, I kind of am. But, yeah, I just wanted to express my individuality, express my, you know, style, express my makeup tips that I do. Um, in yesterday's video, I had on makeup, but as you can see today, I don't have any makeup on because I just woke up and I am in my pajamas. So, I don't have on any makeup, but I wanted to express my makeup style and you know gain friends from the YouTube community because I've been on YouTube since I think 2011 and I never really uploaded a video until now so yeah I just wanted to express myself and I like doing it I like making YouTube videos and putting out content I mean I know lately it's not my YouTube videos it's not like everybody else with all the animation and the music and the funny thumbnails and stuff like that but you know I have to gradually get into that and Somebody on my Twitter asked me, um, how do you expect people to watch your videos if something about animation? I feel like if I'm putting out great quality content like makeup, get ready with me and stuff like that, I feel like anybody's going to watch my video anyway. Me just adding all that extra stuff is just going to give me a boost. It's not going to reflect the content of that video and I feel like I thank the ones the day ones who's been watching my videos since my very first upload thank you so much thank you for being there with me through all of the technical difficulties and <laughs> me disappearing out of the video and stuff I thank you guys so 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 much I thank you guys and I love you guys and thank you for you know helping me and continue to stay down with me so yeah how do i feel right now i'm actually kind of hyped and i don't know why because it's early in the morning i don't know why i'm hyped but i'm hyped um let's see something i really 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 want something i really really want would have to be the jeep wrangler sahara all white hard top i love that truck i want that truck that truck gives me so much life i'm telling you um my current relationship status i am single like a dollar bill shout out just playing but no for real i'm single i've been single for a little over a year it's been a very very long time i've trying to be focused and mindful of the things that i'm trying to do and pursue and my goals certain goals that i'm trying to reach and yeah i haven't um yeah i haven't been seeing anybody um, you know, I ain't been seeing anybody. I don't have any, you know, male friends or anything of that nature. So, I just been cooling and trying to live my life one step at a time, one day at a time. And, um, yeah, it's just pretty much going with the flow. And because, and besides, I don't really like dating because I want to be married. So, if I do date again, I need to date somebody who wants the same thing as me. Because I don't want to date somebody just for a few years and then we break up and then I got to do it all over again. I don't like that. I, just, ugh, I hate it. Um, the meaning behind my URL, I don't even know what. 
<laughs> I don't even know what that means. So, yeah. My favorite movie of all time would have to be Save the Last Dance. I love Julia Stiles in that movie. My favorite song at the moment is Float by Anthony Hamilton, the song that I play for you guys. That is my favorite song of all time. I love that song. Um, favorite brand, band, don't have one. Things that upset me. Liars, not being able to control situations. Like... Um, say for instance I'm sick and I cannot go to work at all the doctor told me no you can't go to work you have to stay at home I'm going to be pissed off just because I'm missing out on money and I don't like missing work too often and I don't like I don't like it I hate it I hate it and when I make plans and they don't fall through that really makes me upset um, three things that make me happy. Doing YouTube, of course. I love doing YouTube. But I don't know if you guys can tell by my energy, but I freaking love you guys. Like, even though I ain't popping yet, but <laughs> even though I'm not popping yet, I still love you guys. Like, for the ones who have been watching, you know, my videos, I feel like I'm out of focus. But for the ones who have been watching my videos, yeah, man, I do this for y'all. Like, I get up early so I can get natural sunlighting. So, don't be all dark and gloomy in here for you guys. And I love you guys. Um, my family. And, I think that's it. <laughs> um, my nieces and nephews make me happy to hear my niece and them when you leave, when I'm leaving. And she go grab her car seat and she's like, I won't go. It's so cute. I love it. Um, what I find attractive to other people, other people's drive and determination to be successful. Like, when I'm down and, like, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, this ain't finna work, blah, 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 they. Like, with YouTube, at first, I got really down because I felt like, man, I don't have the right computer. I don't have the right camera. I ain't got no lighting. I can't edit. I don't know how to edit. YouTube won't let me upload edited versions. Like, I was just all over the place. And I had got discouraged. And I was like, man, this shit ain't for me. I can't, I can't do it. But... Fuck that. I do what I want to do. And you know what? The more you keep working hard at it and being patient, is everything will fall into place. So, yes. That drove me. Somebody else's drive. And the way that other people, you know, are determined to put their YouTube videos on the schedule for you guys. That what pushed me. And that's what makes me, a, what I find attractive to other people. Someone that I miss. I don't know if this question is for or someone that's passed on or someone that's still living but I'm going to do both um the one that passed on that I missed is my uncle who passed away seven years ago um he was like my best friend even though we was in different states he still called me every morning every afternoon when I got out of school and every night after I got home from practice and it was like non-stop everyday clockwork I could wake up and he's on the phone already so I miss him. May he rest in heaven. And somebody else that I miss is my little sister. Um, as you guys know, um, in my last, in my previous video, I told you guys that she had been admitted to the hospital. Um, I'm not going to disclose just yet about that particular situation and why she's there. Um, just because... I'm very overprotective with my sister. Like, I don't care about spilling all my business. I don't care. But her, I'm a little bit, I'm a little standoffish. But she is someone that I miss because she's in a hospital in Ohio. And I'm down here in Atlanta. And I can't visit her or talk to her because they took her phone. So, yeah. Um, someone that I love, my little sister, for sure. Um, my relationship with my parents. My relationship with my parents, both sets, is a typical parent-child relationship. Like, the back and forth and stuff. But that's neither here nor there. I don't really care. Um, just because at a certain point, you stop caring about the little petty stuff that they get mad over. So, I don't care. They still my road dolls, though. But I just don't care anymore. Um, my favorite holiday would have to be Christmas. I freaking love Christmas. Christmas is like, 
Christmas is Christmas, man. Like, I love Christmas. Christmas is everything. My closest YouTube friend, I do not have any YouTube friends. And that's a bummer because I like making friends. Um, especially, I want to make a collab. But I want to do it with somebody, you know, who's open to it, like uh, getting ready with me or a night routine. routine. And it would definitely have to be somebody that lives in Georgia. Um, or not. It just really doesn't matter. But I think I would want to wait until... I get the proper camera where I can have a tripod go with me instead of just walking out and leaving you guys. But, um, yeah, I don't have any. Someone from YouTube that I date. No one. Because I don't even know one. Because majority of my guy subscribers are married, in committed relationship, engaged, or gay. So, no. But I love them all, though. They're, they're dope. A confession. <laughs> my confession is that I'm a slight insecure and I have a self-esteem issue sometimes. Um, three things that annoy me easily. Three things that annoy me easily is the three things that make me upset. Like, they're kind of two and two. So, yeah. My favorite animals would have to be dogs. My pets are Christy and Lulu. They are two boxers. Love them. They get on my nerves though, but I love them. Something, the one thing that I've lied about. <laughs> the one thing that I lied about is being a virgin. Let me tell you guys why. I lie so much about being a virgin just because the way people come off to me, like, do not, if you're trying to get to know me, even if you're trying to get to know me on that level, do not let the first thing out your mouth be, am I a freak? I'm going to lie and say, no, I'm a virgin. I've done nothing. That is my lie, and I'm sticking to it because I hate when people ask me that. That's so freaking stupid. But, yeah, that's something that I lied about. Something that constantly, constantly worry about me. My little sister being in Ohio and not being down here, I feel helpless. I feel like she could have lived with me and, you know, she would have been A1. But her and my mother's health, because my mother's health is deteriorating very rapidly. Like, every other week or every other month is something different to where she either has to have surgery or go see a specialist. And that really worries me because it makes me feel like I'm about to lose my mom and... I would be a wreck. I really would. I would be like, no matter how many times we fight and how many times she'd be like, fuck you. And I'd be like, yeah, whatever. That's still my mom. And I love my mom. And that worries me. Very, very, very much that worries me. Um, embarrassing moments. Uh, embarrassing moments when I was about six. I've always had a jazzy mouth, and this boy told me to move the F out the way, and I told him he wasn't my daddy, and he told me I got three seconds, and so he started counting, and I finished it, and I was like two, three, and the nigga threw a freaking horseshoe at my nose and dislocated my nose, so yeah, in front of everybody. We were at a birthday party. I was so ticked off. Um, something in this constantly on my mind. YouTube. I eat, sleep, and breathe YouTube just because I want to be successful and I want to put out content that you guys want to see. I want to put out content that I watch, you know? So, yeah, that's constantly on my mind. Three habits that I have. I talk with my hands. I make stupid noises, like, for no reason. <laughs> and... I always stick my tongue out in everything. Like, I could be talking. I could be like, ah, Like, I stick my tongue out. I think I did it already in this video. Like, <laughs> my future goal. My future goal is to definitely be an FBI agent. And to go and capture bad guys. Like, come on. FBI. Um, another one would be being successful on here. Um... And being married in the future. 
something that I fascinated about my wedding, you guys, let me show you. I am freaking in love with Tumblr and Google because they be having me like all over their place. So I'm like, like, look at that. How cute is that? How cute is that picture? Can you guys see it? I hope you guys can see it. Look at that picture. That is gorgeous. Like, this is gorgeous. Like, yes. Like, I fantasize so much. That's what I fantasize the most about. Um, my favorite store. My favorite store is Torrid.com. I freaking love Torrid. If no one knows what Torrid is, Torrid is a plus size clothing store online and on the ground. Um, I think online their sizes go up to like 30 and then I think, I'm not sure. And then in the stores their sizes go up to 24. Um, it's www.torrid.com for online and it's Torrid um, on ground in Cumberland Mall, Lenox Mall, um, Tanger Outlet, and Auburn Place Mall. All these malls are in Georgia, in Atlanta, spread it out. So, if you are a plus size girl that watch my videos, son, go to their website. I freaking love their website. They have cute dresses, cute skirts, stuff that, you know, smaller people wear, but in big girl sizes, I love it. That is, that is so my store. Like, if I could work with them on a daily basis, I really would. Like, I freaking love Tori. Their customer service is amazing. Their shipping is amazing. Like... It, majority of the time, it only takes me, I want to say, four days to receive my stuff. And that is fast. And if it's overnight shipping, it gets there literally overnight. Like, I know one last two years ago, I ordered something for somebody's birthday the day before. And it got there literally three hours before the event. Yo, I was so happy. Like... I love Tor. Tor is the bomb.com for real. Um, my favorite food would have to be spaghetti. I love spaghetti with Italian sausage in it. Amazing. What I did yesterday, I went to visit some of my old co-workers at Waffle House. Because I used to work at Waffle House not too long ago. A couple of months ago. And um, yeah, I went to go visit them because I have not seen them since I left in April. Um, something that I'm talented at. I feel like I'm talented at makeup. Like, no, I do not know how to highlight and contour my face. Like, to the T. But as far as, like, eye makeup and eyebrows, I think I do a pretty good job. I'm not saying that I'm the best out there. But I'm saying for what I do know and this makeup that I do have, I feel like I may do with what I have. And I think I do a really good job at it. So, my idea of a perfect date. My idea of a perfect date would be us going to a restaurant and there's nobody in there. <laughs> nobody. It's a cute little table in the middle of the floor with roses leading up to it and around it and on top of the table. And, you know, candlelight, soft music playing in the background and nobody there but me, the person I'm on the date with, and the people who prepared the food. I would, like, not want to leave. Um, let's see. My celebrity crush. Ooh, I have a lot, guys. Jesus, I have a lot. Um, since I said Jesus, it would have to be Jax from Sons of Anarchy. I love Jax. Like, Jax is, he's A1. I like Jax. Um, a photo of myself. If you guys will check the description bar and follow all of my social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you guys will see a ton of pictures of me. I love taking pictures. I deleted some of my pictures on Instagram just because I was getting up in the thousands and that was a little too much for me. But um, you will go, if you go on my sites, you will see beautiful pictures of me. So, <laughs> ooh, excuse me, check the description bar and all of my contact and social media will be listed there below. Be sure to follow me. I follow back. I will communicate with you guys. If you send me a snap, I will snap you back. If you tweet me, I will tweet you back. I don't do anything during the week because I only work on the weekend. So, we have full blown conversation on social media and I'm there for it. Like, yes. Um, let's see. 
my favorite blogs i do not have one number of kids i want my minimum is three do i smoke or drink i smoke uh drink occasionally i should say i smoke i drink occasionally um any questions you'd like i'm guessing that's for you guys any questions you guys would love to ask me whether you're subscribed to me or not i'm very open to um answering questions about myself um so yeah leave them in the comment section i will answer your questions follow me on my instagram my snap and my twitter check the description bar for all of those lovely things i i, don't, I forget to say it in some of my videos and yeah so i'm saying it. i'm going to start saying it in the preview the more recent videos so follow me on all of my social media sites um they're in the description bar instagram is at katie and bella twitter is at katie and bella and snapchat is bella Bree Jack. um if i said it too fast it will be in the description bar business emails for anybody who wants to send me anything business email is brittany w938 at gmail.com also in the description box so yes i hope this video um kind of opened you guys up to who I am. I would really love to do Q&As every month. So feel free to, like I said, you can DM me on Twitter and ask me questions. You can uh, um, DM me on Instagram and ask me questions. And snap, you can snap me and ask me questions and I will answer them and I will pretty much save all of the questions in and I will do a Q&A at the end of the month which will probably be either on the 30th or on the 1st of September just because my birthday is on the 25th of this month and I'm having a party on the 30th so that's why I don't know if I'm going to do it on the exact 30th or on the 1st but either way it goes you guys will get a Q&A out of me before the month is over. I will look, I want to do a Q&A every month just because things happen in months that you guys don't know about. So I will want to do a Q&A every month so you guys can send me all of your questions and I would screenshot those guys and save them for my Q&A of the month. And yeah, so I hope this answered any questions that you may have. If I did not answer them, like I said, leave them in the comment section below and I will answer all of your questions. Um, so, yes, make sure to please comment, rate, thumbs up, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Um, I do want to get um, my goal is 5,000 subscribers. And so, whenever I hit 5,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So, let me know what you guys would like for the giveaway. Because I really want to do a, a giveaway just to show my appreciation. A lot of people wait till 50,000 subscribers, but I'm not that Hollywood. I would rather do, do it at 5,000 because I feel like 5,000 is a milestone. Um for somebody who's just starting out so um yeah so i hope this you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so much don't forget to check the description bar don't forget to subscribe love you guys bye